Hello and welcome to another installment of the Smart Recovery Tips and Tools. Let's get started. Today's topic is living a balanced life. Through regaining your health and creating a lifestyle that brings a long and short-term satisfaction is an important part of recovery. Avoiding lapse and relapse and achieving long-term behavior change is supported by living a balanced life. Balance comes from finding and pursuing interests that you find absorbing and achieving your short and long-term goals. A meaningful life is one that is balanced. You now have the time and desire to pursue the activities that express the values you identified in the hierarchy of values. Many people do not live their lives in balance, nor in a manner that is consistent in sustaining their values. It's important to note that achieving a balanced lifestyle is just like other points in the four-point program. It takes work. You can use many of the smart tools in your quest to achieve and live a balanced life. Remember, these tools aren't just recovery tools. They are tools for life. There are two main actions that lead to a balanced life. Number one, understand and respect each of the areas of your life. Number two, change your perspective in the areas in which you are stuck. Creating balance, eating right, getting enough sleep, relaxing, and meditating will help you restore balance in your life. Let's look at the other areas in your life. In this exercise, to create a balance in your life, you'll need to take an inventory. When completing the lifestyle pie in figure 6.1, you'll determine and evaluate the areas to focus your time and energy on. Here's the example of it, but look forward to the example towards the end of this video. Number two, be honest with yourself. This exercise will show you the areas in your life that may need more or less of your attention. When you're done filling out this pie, be honest with yourself about your reaction to the picture it shows. What are your thoughts and feelings? Are there areas in which you want to spend more time? Are fears or discomforts keeping you from doing things? How would you start filling out the neglected areas? When would you begin? Number three, go with your gut. When looking at your pie, you may find several areas that you feel you could use more attention, and you probably don't have the time to work on all of them at once. Which one is waving their hand widely and saying, me first, pick me. Follow your instinct. It's easier and more fun to work on the areas you're drawn to first. Number four, plan and prepare. To pay more attention to the neglected areas, you'll need to make time for them. Otherwise, they won't get done. Focusing on these less tended areas will take some getting used to. Creating a plan that you can stick to. Number five, get support. Making changes isn't easy. Rather than struggling and risking failure, get all the outside help and support you can. You might ask a loved one, friend, colleague, or speak to professional help. Balance. Number six, your pie may show that you spend a lot of time in one area. The expense of others. How much time do you spend on the things that are not going well for you? Ask yourself. Again, be honest. Is it that specific area that you spend most of your time on? All of the areas in your life should be done in moderation and balance in mind. Otherwise, your life becomes unbalanced and one-sided. Number seven, have fun, fun, fun. If the work you put in balancing your life starts to feel burdensome, back off a little bit. 
You are doing this work to become healthier and whole, not to add more chores in your life. Seek out the fun in all of the efforts. Have a good time with the new experience while exploring the other areas of your life. When your life becomes more balanced and well-rounded, the healthier and happier you'll be. Lifestyle Balance Pie Worksheet. Use the Lifestyle Pie in Figure 6.1 in the Smart Recovery Handbook to represent the different areas in your life. So, number one, label each slice with an area of your life that is important to you. For example, family, friends, spirituality, romance, health, work, recreation, personal growth, money, physical surroundings, etc. Refer to your HOV means hierarchy of value on page 14 of the Smart Recovery Handbook to give you some insight. Number two, think of the pie outer edge as being completely satisfied, a 10, and the center as being dissatisfied, means zero. Number three, rate your level of satisfaction in each of the areas you've listed by placing a dot on the middle line of each pie slice to indicate the level of satisfaction you have in that area. Number four, after you rate each slice, connect the dots to each of the outside perimeters of the pie. And I'll show you an example very soon. What does it look like? Is it round and full? Or does it look like some areas are not filled out as the others are? Number five. Now ask yourself, are my true values and priorities reflecting here? Based on what I see, am I living a balanced life? Am I involved in too many activities? Is there too much on my plate? How much of my time is spent on caring for others? For myself? What areas or area needs more attention? What needs less attention? Is there a dream or desire that I'd like to focus on? What changes do I want to make? What can I do to round out my life? To move yourself towards a more balanced life, allow yourself more time for the areas that show gaps, those places where pieces of the pie are missing because they are. When doing so, be sure to focus on the whole picture of your life, not just specific areas. Here's an example. Let's go through this. So number one, we're gonna work on health. Number two, leisure and fun, volunteering, my children, my marriage, my career, my education, and my finances. So where do you think they will, where your health is? You can put a dot there. I'm going to add here for or sorry, leisure time. I'm going to put leisure at that. And then my volunteer time is quite low. My children, ah, it's in the middle. My marriage, ah, it's just above there. It's doing well. My career, ah, I'm really focusing on my career. Education, ah, I don't spend too much time, but a little bit. Finances, well, I'm focusing on it. My health, ah, I'm not spending so much time. Then what you do is you connect the dots like this. You can see now how it's all working together by connecting the dots. Now you look at this picture, then what I want you to do is go and list them from the lowest scores to the highest scores. Then health was quite low, it was a three. My volunteering, ah, another three. Education, maybe a five. Children, ah, it's about a six. Then the next one, leisure and fun, it's about 6.5. Marriage, ah, about 6.9. Finances, about a seven. My career is about a nine. Then ask yourself, my health and volunteering, slice got a little low score. To increase both, I will create a walking club on Meetup, which will help me kill two with birds with one stone. Have fun volunteering, and work on my health through exercise and walking. When I'm confident 
that I am committed to these goals and see improvement in both areas. I'll focus on education as my next lowest score. While the goal is never to neglect any area, his top four scores probably don't require the focus attention. His bottom scores do. Here's some ideas. Because health covers such a wide variety of topics, he could do some lifestyle balance pie just on that life category. Exercise, nutrition, sleep, blood work, cholesterol, maybe his doctor appointments, etc. Other areas of ideas would be to set realistic goal. Look at figure 6.3 from the Smart Recovery Handbook to help you. So the SMART goal stands for be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Look forward to more videos upcoming. Everybody have a fantastic day. Bye-bye for now.